Fish and game crews have been walking some of the salmon streams, counting the fish returned into the stream so they can get an escapement number, and then that way they can get a forecast for the fish returning back in, f in the future. I was supposed to mate two of the crew members down in Kaufman Cove at uh, 8 a.m. to f shuttle them into Luck Lake so they could walk the stream there for and count the sockeye. To pick them up at 8 o'clock, I would have to leave Petersburg at a little bit after 7. Well, of course, it was a nice day, but it was foggy this morning. So I went ahead and pre-flighted the airplane and got it all ready to go and took my time doing it, put it around with a few things. And finally, at about a quarter to 8, the fog lifted enough that I could get out. It doesn't look like it here, and the fog is kind of fuzzy right here, but I'll go ahead and taxi out and turn around and take off into the open and then climb up on top of it and uh, head down to Kaufman Cove. I'll go ahead and speed this taxi and take off up a little bit here and then once I get in the air then I'll go ahead and speed it up some more to shorten the trip down to Kaufman Cove up a little bit. It's about a 40 minute trip from Petersburg to Kaufman Cove. I made it a little bit less than that today because I was able to climb out on top and gain some altitude, go directly over all of the mountains and stuff, and I had a little bit of a tailwind. Got Kupernoff Island here on the right and Mitkoff Island off on the left. This is uh, Wrangell Narrows that I'm heading down here now. I'm going to go ahead and climb out to about 3,000 feet and get over the top of all of the peaks and stuff here and take a direct heading down to Kaufman Cove. Kaufman Cove is kind of on the northern east side of Prince of Wales Island. It was a logging community. It was kind of the head of the road where loggers would go into and then drive into other areas t uh, to their logging jobs and whatnot. We used to take a lot of people down there but of course the logging is all shut down and it's turned into quite a little community now. But we're going down there, the guys are taking a skiff down there from the Wanigan that they've been staying in and they're gonna meet there at the dock and then it's just a short hop from there over into Luck Lake where I drop them off so they can do a salmon survey here. 
Oh, there's uh, fog down below me. I'm on top of it, but there's enough openings in the fog there that I can see water almost the whole way within gliding distance of any place that I'm at, so I feel pretty comfortable here. And I wound up getting a little bit of a tailwind, so even though I got a pretty late start, uh, I wasn't too late when I got down to Coffin Cove. As I said, it's about a 35-40 minute flight from Petersburg down to Coffin Cove. So I'm going to bump the speed of this up a little bit so we can fit it all onto one uh, video. Crossing over the south end of uh, Midkoff Island and then getting to the lower end of Wrangell Narrows where it opens up out into Sumner Strait. Zerimbo Island is straight ahead of us. Snow Pass is the body of water there on the right and then Prince of Wales Island is the mountains there on the right. That's St. John's Harbor we just went past. Crossing over Zrimbo Island, just past Snow Pass. It's the Blaschke Islands there on the right. We're kind of getting to Clarence Strait here now, and Kaufman Cove is straight ahead of us. Coming into Kaufman Cove now, I slowed it down to double speed. We'll fly down the harbor here and check it out for the landing area and then when I get ready to land I'll go ahead and slow it down to normal speed. Guys, morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm late. No, no worries. You're fine. How was weather in town? Foggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were. I was in reaching Paul. We're like, so uh, how's it look? Uh, <laughs> we gonna be able to fly today? Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> Scheduled it early, not thinking it was gonna happen till noon. So I'm glad it happened. Yeah. Okay. Well. Go. Better take your piece. Yep. Like I said, you gotta scare all the bears off before I get there. I don't need a gun for that part. How's your, terrifying. What's your shoes look like? You got cleats? Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. All right, breach is locked open. Good. Good girl. We don't want any cops around here. I don't want to shoot the tail off the airplane. Ooh, you getting video this morning? Yeah. You guys are on camera to camera here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I brought my headset just for the short flight. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead and get settled in. You have to... Bars right on the float. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'd do it. That'd be fun. As long as you 
push, don't let go. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be fun until we got in the air and then I'd be pissing myself. <laughs> Alrighty, see you in a bit. You just want nose out? Yeah. First victim loaded up, so we'll hurry up things up a little bit here now, take her over, drop her off in the lake, and then turn around and come back and pick up the second crewman. This is Luck Lake. The salmon stream, sockeye stream, comes out of the valley up ahead of there. I'm going to go ahead and fly up the stream to the falls on it. That's the barrier for the fish so they can kind of reconnoiter it, get an idea of what it looks like from the air so they can kind of coordinate that with what they see from the ground. Better slow down a little bit so I can land.
Das darf man noch nicht jetzt aber. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah just, just give me the old heave ho. All right, that's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you a minute. Finish the survey? Yep, I'm all done. Good. We can head back. All right. I approximate there are a couple few fish here. A couple few. Yep. That sounds great. Yep. Hard numbers, hard numbers. Hard numbers. I'm very confident about my estimate. Yeah. I have a fish out there, but they look pretty pinkish.
Oh, yeah, they're like 90% pink. Yeah, there's a lure. Have fun, kids. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. see you in about uh, an hour and a half. Yeah. Call it two just to be safe, but we should be done in an hour. <laughs> well, I'll be here when you get here. Sounds good. I'll leave it out. Good. Yeah. Good. Not, good. Not, long walk back. For not for an hour and a half, anyway. <laughs> a little longer than they expected to walk that stream. It didn't take longer than I expected, but it took longer than they expected. I entertained myself by reading a book and visiting with some of the fishermen that happened to walk by, the sport fishermen. So, anyway, now we're off of Luck Lake with the first crewman. I'm going to take him over the ridge right there to the left and drop into Kaufman Cove and drop him off, and then we'll come back for the second crew.
just picked up the second stream walker who happens to be the assistant area biologist and we're going to take off here on the lake as we go by that point right there there's a boat heading down the lake that we visited with for a while we're going to wave at them and then climb out turn back this direction and fly the stream so that she can do a stream survey and see what the fish look like from the air compared to the water walking them and then we're going to fly down the stream on the other end, the outlet end of the lake, to count pink salmon down there. Since it's such a good day and the fish are in the stream pretty good. And then we're going to hot foot back to Petersburg. We're flying up the stream so the biologist can get a look at the fish down in the water and compare them to what she saw from the water. But you can't really see a whole lot down there because we're flying into the sun and the glare on the water uh, reflections and stuff on the water makes it a little hard to see. So I want to get up here to the top of the stream, or the stream actually goes way back up that valley there ahead of us and then up the second valley to the left of us, but the fish only come about to here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and come up here just above where the barrier is that stops them from going any higher and turn around and we'll go back down the stream and that way we'll be going down with the sun at our back and we'll take a better look at the stream that way and uh, we'll be able to get a better count of the fish. I'm going to speed things up a little bit here as we head down to the other end of the lake and do a fish count on the outlet stream which is called Eagle Creek and then we're going to kick it into afterburner and head back to Petersburg. Once we cross over the south end of Mitkoff Island here, we'll start descending down the Wrangell Narrows, or north up the Wrangell Narrows, I guess, uh, for a landing at Petersburg. <laughs> 